You know, I, I, I have so much material that I think it's just not going to end. The way this country and its direction and the the bullshit that we're going through with the leftist liberal cocksucker motherfuckers and ratso fatso being a fucking jerk off loser cocksucker piece of dog shit that he really is a subhumanoid dog shit and the technology that we have today that is ruining the young people's lives there is i mean we oh my lord i mean i mean america is a big country but is it like this everywhere is it like this uh, uh, of subhumanoid dog shit of uh of leftist liberal scumbags, they're like a cancer. They're trying to take over the body, and we are getting sick of them and their ways. And we need a cancer specialist to rid our bodies of these leftist liberal scumbags. And it, it is incredible. I have never thought that I would see the day, okay, that this would be happening to our country. I told you people, I am not into politics, but this forces you to be into politics because these people are ruining the country. They're poisoning us and the country. And I just can't stand by as a real patriot of this country to say enough is enough that we need to bring back America and make America great. God bless Donald Trump. I talked to one of those, these fucking liberal bitches the other day as I was shopping and she was uh, appeared to be a nice lady. And I said hello. And she said hello. Turned out she was handicapped. But, uh, you know, she was a nice lady. And uh, she was kind of sexy in her own way, you know. And, uh, but she was such a diehard liberal terrian that I couldn't even get a word in edgewise. And she was so polluted in her hatred of Donald Trump talking about this about the guy and that about the guy and that uh <clears throat> that he that that hold on one second okay and that he um i hope you didn't see that did you let me see something Um, you know, it was just terrible, terrible, uh, negativity toward one man. This man has been hated since day one because he's old school. And I don't know after he's gone, will there be, uh, will there be another person like him to carry the torch of of patriotism right of patriotism uh he represents what america is really all about and what used to be you know i remember when we had the unions and they were strong and uh that uh, goddamn reagan when he was president uh busted down the unions and uh took away the rights of the unions and the the unions were um as strong as uh, the government and yeah there was the, you know the mafia and the corruption and everything but they guaranteed the working man and his family a fair working wage not like the bullshit that's going on today oh there's so many jobs yeah because of covid okay that's bullshit Okay, bullshit that all these jobs, oh, there's so many, oh, you see all this uh, shit across the country, oh, help wanted, help wanted, uh, I see them all over here, help wanted signs, uh, understaffing, uh, this and that, and it's bullshit, it's only because of a disease that China, China let out in the laboratory in Wuhan, Wuhan Chang, whatever the fuck it is, and poisoned our country. And did our country do anything about it? Did we retaliate against China? No. They got away with this shit. Even when Donald Trump was in office, I was a little bit pissed off at Donald because he was the president. He should have done something to retaliate against China. This is the Chinese virus. 
no doubt a fuck about it. With Fauci and the Wu-Tang lab and all the experiments and they let the virus out and it's, and our country has never been the same. This is hell on earth. It really is. Between the virus and all these jobs. Bullshit. Man, I've been around for a long time. Okay? And there was never this type of job advertisement help wanted when there was no COVID. It was an employer's market. You couldn't get a fucking job. I tried. I made plenty of fucking applications. And you know what? I never got called for anything. What the fuck? Such bullshit. So what I'm saying is I have enough material to sit out here. This is unprecedented for me. To do three fucking videos in a row. Yesterday I did about seven, eight, or nine. I, I must be getting close to that 600 mark of videos. And they're all great videos. I personally certify them to be great because of people like Ratso Asshole. I would have never met a guy like him. And I regret having to have met a guy like him on face crap. Okay? Because I didn't know what real liberalism, leftist, douchebag, communist, Marxist thoughts were. I knew that Trump was the president and uh, that people were hating on him. But I didn't really understand what is going on now in this country. And things have progressed since then. And the left, like I said, the left, leftist liberal douchebags are a cancer that has to be stopped. Because they're poisoning our thought process. They're poisoning everything. Uh, it, it is such a... I mean, this is like a decoration of war. Um, when you have the strategy of having all these illegal aliens coming here illegally, forgetting the Constitution, forgetting the the uh, the uh, the Ellis Island, um, you know, it's it's over with. It's 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 for political purposes. This is you don't let these people in. These people are uh, are rapists and killers and 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 um, and uh, drug dealers and. You know, the dregs of society that they have down there in Mexico, okay? Let me put it to you this way. Hey, Ratso, why don't you and your, uh, you know, your cunt girlfriend take a trip down to Maguara Mahala or someplace down in Mexico and just walk the streets and be friendly with people and just see how the Mexicans treat your, your white ass. Because I'll tell you something, you'd be lucky if you made it back. Because Mexico is the most dangerous country right now on the planet, along with countries like Guatemala and Salvador and Nicaragua, where they have, um, yeah, they, they probably do have unrest down there and persecution. And uh, a lot of these people, they come here, you know, for that. Um, but there's only so much people. And, you know, the countries of Europe and other, they're having trouble too. But they, uh, everybody's borders is secure. We're the laughing stock of the world uh, because we let these illegal aliens in, and they're nothing but trouble. They're criminals. They're bad people. They've already murdered a lot of innocent Americans. But the leftist liberals, like I said, they don't care about that because their objective is to bring more in. So this way, every election that they do, they're guaranteed a win. When you give illegal aliens debit cards, housing, medical, money, apartments, cars, whatever they want, you're giving them licenses. They never earned it. They don't know how to drive. Can you imagine some fucking Chico de Pico from Guatemala, Mexico, driving down the street, crashing into a family of five, killing them, and getting away with it because of his status here in this country. He's like a diplomat. It's like he's got diplomatic status. And you know, diplomats, not that you know about this ratso and your fucking little cocksucker friends out there, but in New York, in the United Nations, there's a thing called diplomatic immunity. So if you want to kill somebody, you want to fuck someone over, you can get away with it because you have diplomatic immunity. That's what the illegal aliens have right now. It just came to me. They have diplomatic immunity to kill, to maim, to injure, 
to do drugs, to whatever. They got it. And you don't think there's anything wrong with that, do you? That's why you need to be stopped. Because if you don't think there's anything wrong with that, you are a fucking anti-American, anti-patriot, real American. And I'm talking to you, Ratso, you fucking ignorant, stupid-ass fucking piece of dog shit.